The most prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this. The final itself. Who will prevail? It's Real Madrid. And they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a backfire. When they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3-5-2. Keeper. And uh, Tao. Well, if you're looking for a player to take any game by the scruff of the neck, look no further than Vinicius Jude. Chance to put them in front! Marvellous anticipation! Again, this is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Well, not 
long to go now till we hear the half-time whistle. Real Madrid still trailing. Stewarts, what have you made of their first half? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guard in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Kunde. Able to get his body in the way. Federico Valverde. It's with Vinicius Junior. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. To the second half then and Real doing the chasing couldn't find a teammate throw in here into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind. He has to get the timing right. Let that pass all the way. Got to get out. And managed to cut it out. It's a good thing, too. of that tackle cannot be overstated. Lewandowski. Oh, great vision. And Messi! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Accurately, read it well, cleared it well. And have mini time. Well, perhaps they can counter from here. Oh, big chance! Oh, superb save! Massive credit to the keeper. Well, it's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Thank you. 
opposition at bay. Just ten minutes to go. Might be a chance here. And that is offside. Real Madrid attacking and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. Well, not far away from the final whistle and Real Madrid have got to pull out all the stops. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box and the crosses have been erratic, but there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. This could be troublesome. Top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Gundogan. Gundogan threading it through. Oh, wasteful from Barcelona. Mbappe. Fine run from Mbappe. This could square the game. Counter-attack is so impressive, and Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Barca maintain possession, advantage. Oh, splendid! Can they convert? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Substitution for Real Madrid.
to have that opportunity back. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Brilliant pass. Quite clearly offside. position from which to counter could be threatening and the task is to remain focused what late excitement and the match is a level well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and there's certainly no doubt about the finish really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing that people can do about that. Well, they needed that and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. So underway again at 2 all. period of extra time here intercepted effortlessly and then Militao the ball with Luka Modric and given away just one minute of stoppage time say the officials doing everything in their power. Oh, at this moment, Real Madrid take the lead in the Champions League final with time running out. And as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. Absolutely no shot there. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well they have to make the most of this don't they it's a great thing what an achievement for them Champions League winners, Real Madrid.
Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. Natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they sing on the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly played their part, the fans. They deserve to be involved with these celebrations. They've made so much noise here.